Hey guys, welcome back to another video here at Creators Theory. So Filmora recently released a new version of Filmora, which is Filmora 11. So in this video, we'll walk through some of the new features that the Filmora has to offer. But before starting this tutorial, if you don't have the latest version of Filmora, then make sure download it from the link in the description below. And if you're new to this channel, then make sure hit the subscribe button to follow for more Filmora related tutorials. The latest version of Filmora, which is Filmora 11, has three main features. The first one is speed ramping. Second one is masking and the third one is auto synchronization. So let's first look into speed ramping. So speed ramping, if you are aware of video editing, then you might be aware of speed ramping, which is a feature which is already available in uh, uh, more advanced tool like uh, Premiere Pro and also Final Cut Pro, Final Cut 10. And uh, so here this in this uh, latest version of Filmora, which is 11, they have introduced a type of uh, speed ramping. Though there is limited controls, but there is still an effect which you can add a speed ramping. So speed ramping is basically where you can slow the movement or fast the movement at a particular time in a video. So let's just say this is a normal video. Let's just have a look at the video, how it is. So you can see there is a same moment. There is no slow or fast of uh, any actions. But how about I slow the spin of this girl over here? So this will be loading as speed ramping and then again she goes fast. So that is the ramp that is created where a speed has been changed at a particular time. So for this action, what we'll do, we'll select this video. We'll go here. There is a speed button new for all the new Filmora users. So make sure you upgrade it. Otherwise, it will not be visible to you. I'll click on speed ramp. So here you can see there are multiple speed ramp options right now. So I will just use custom options over here for timing and what I will do, I want at this position, uh, speed should be slow. So I will drag this over here and this a little down and I will move this over here. So you can see there is a ramp created over here. So now let me just play this video. So as you can see the uh, video slows down you can also increase this or decrease the speed more so let me just play it again so as you can see you can slow the speed down according to your uh, need and the video will look something like this so you can also use this for transitioning from one video to another but that will look sometime in later in the future now let's move to the second feature so the second feature of the new Filmora version is uh, masking. So earlier we had to go into select a mask effect and then add that effect uh, about the video. Now they have integrated directly into the video masking. So let me just show the masking by changing the sky sky replacement effect that we normally have seen in many of the videos. So what I will do, so this is the video normal video that we have. You can look at it goes this way. So we have a horizontal line over here. So what I will do about this, I will replace the sky. So first of all, let me move this to the second layer. And then what I will do, I will double click, uh, double click on it. And here there you can see there is a new mask option. So just click on mask. And here there you can see multiple mask options. So what I will do, I will select single line and as you can see this masks the left side of the video. So I will just uh, go down or you can just uh, do uh, your changes from here by uh, selecting over here. So I will just rotate it maybe in 90 degree and uh, you can see over here uh, it is 90 degree or you can just type over here 90. So you, you know it's perfect. And now let me just drag this a little bit over here. But uh, I want this 90 to be in the other side. So what I will do, I will drag this on the other side. So yeah, so this works. So let me just move this, uh, move this a little bit, move this a little bit down. So as you can see, here I am and now click on OK. Now if you bring this video down, you can see the video behind the sky behind. So what I will do, I will just double click on this video and I will scale it a little bit. So only sky is visible. I will position it down a little bit and uh, now let's just see how it plays. 
okay but still you can see the difference it is not really that effect so let's click on okay over here for a second again go back to this masking and here masking down below you can see more options like, such as blur strength so we'll just blur it a little bit more so there is a co continuity between both the part as you can see some building part is also visible now so i will just blur it a little bit more maybe this much yes and uh, you can again uh, invert the mask and uh, this effect yeah uh, so let me just keep it over here i'll click ok but still there is no continuity again uh, what i will do i will go to the color and here i will change the brightness a little bit decrease the brightness so that it matches with the tone which is night tone and uh, maybe uh, do some changes with the saturation and, uh, and add a tint a little bit maybe to uh, complement the night effect and you can add whatever tint you want but i will keep it this i will change the temperature a little bit yeah now yeah so as you can see if you go darker it uh, resembles quite well so now let me just go back to the start and now you can see it's completely so it completely matches as you can see uh, so this is the sky replacement masking effect that we have in Filmora and uh, yes so this is uh, some of the basic masking that we can do we can do advanced as well but we need to that will do in some future video so now let's go into the third new feature which is auto synchronization so the third feature is audio synchronization or auto synchronization as they mentioned do it over here so what is this feature is if you have a video file and an audio file so how i record videos is like i have a screen recording which records audio as well as the oh, my oh, microphone which records the audio so later i come into filmora and then uh, match the audio and synchronize it and then try to edit it so i don't really use the videos audio that is already available with the video because it is not of that great quality so to directly synchronize what you can do so uh, filmora has made it easy or, uh, earlier it was manual so now you can select both of this so this is the audio file and this is the video right click on it and click on auto synchronization so uh, do you mute the original audio from the video so uh, this is asking if you want to mute the video uh, audio which is in the video already present so you select yes and uh, it will start synchronizing give it a few seconds Yeah, so it automatically adds the video, uh, both the files into the timeline. As you can see, if you can see in the video, there is our audio audio waveforms, our waveforms over here, and these waveforms of the audio file. So this is trying to match it exactly. I think it has done a very good job. So yeah, so this is audio auto uh, auto synchronization feature of Filmora. So that's it guys with all the latest features of Filmora. I hope you guys like this video. We will be doing more advanced version of these features and to taking them to the extent where you can do some amazing effects and uh, tricks with Filmora. Video editing tricks and effects in Filmora. So I hope you guys like it. If you guys like it then give this video a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos like this then make sure hit the subscribe button and uh, see you guys in another video. Till then. See ya.